The winner of this is teed up to win the map. Jay? Has he, has he crashed? He's crashed. Imagine being eliminated from the major because your computer crashed in the middle of a series-defining retake. Well, Virtus Pro don't have to. That happened to them. And it could happen again. All right, so before we get into all of the major talk, just a quick reminder that we have a Face It CS2 clan. And if you are as sick of Premier as I am, consider joining. It's free, it has a real anti-cheat, you can play with me, your friends, our community, amass points, and redeem them in the Face It shop for things like skins. Link is in the description below. Okay, so, the crash. For those who did not bear witness, this past weekend, during the fifth round bout between G2 and Virtus Pro, something extremely tragic happened. Virtus Pro had taken the first map and were primed to take the second. VP were sitting at 11.10, took B site, and set up for an extremely winnable post plant. Bomb was down, Jame had AWP on new box, and then... End of the tether, the end of the rope. The winner of this is teed up to win the map. Jay? Has he, has he crashed? He's crashed, oh no, in a pivotal round! He's at the, at the back of the site in the open! That was the opener post spawn. That's a dream scenario. G2 have been given road to run. Can they close the gap? May hits his. It's one for one. It's only Flint and G2 miraculously saving themselves. So yeah, James PC crashed at a major on a stupidly pivotal round. G2 had completely bought out. And if VP had secured that post plant, G2 would almost certainly have lost the following round, the series, and their spot in the playoffs. G2 went on to win the third map, knocking VP out of the event. Now, props to G2. They, they won the third map, they earned it. But if you're Jame, that is a tough pill to swallow. And the craziest thing is that he endured it as well as anyone could. He rallied, brushed it off, and even though they lost, remained a consummate professional. If it were me, I would have put my fist through the monitor. The fact that he even had the composure to play a third map is really impressive, in my opinion. Class act all around. Now, it just so happens that our team is over in Copenhagen as we speak, covering the major, and they got to sit down with the boy machine and ask him about it. And he did a really good job of just succinctly characterizing James' elegance. I was mad shouting at the screen for them, you know, on their behalf. But uh, yeah, next time. I love, James. have you seen James' interview as well? Where he talks about the... The, the post-crash? Yeah. I have not. He yet. talks about it with such grace. And uh, yeah, he's I, he's another one where I think if I could if I could only speak his language, there'd be some really good conversations. He speaks so articulately. He's an interesting character. The question is, what do we do with all of this? Well, for starters, no, they could not have simply replayed the round. Once damage has been dealt, that's it. Rounds in the books. Plus, as Pimp pointed out, it's not a guarantee that VP would have closed that round out anyway. VP had two low HP players, and who knows, maybe G2 could have done something crazy. G2 themselves were also class acts about it. Uh, the players, not the social guy. The social guy kind of went off. But Nico rightfully directed the blame away from PGL and towards both CS2 and the myriad of technical issues plaguing it. Just unlucky, I, I don't know what to say. I just feel sorry for them because same happened to us yesterday on four, one round, really important round where Nexa crashed and he had really good positions like position like James. Yeah, I just feel really sorry for them. I hope that will not happen in playoffs and yeah, that's it. Now, the instinct was, is, to blame the organizer, but it's not really their fault. I don't know about you guys, but I lose rounds all the time these days because my game just won't stop stuttering. And I'm not saying that what happened to Jame and Virtus Pro isn't both tragic and rage inducing. It is, but it's not really anyone's fault. Except Valve's. If you're gonna blame anyone, blame Valve, I guess. Although I will say that in writing this script, I stumbled upon the fact that PGL's official VOD for Inferno cuts out right before the crash occurs. Now, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but if it is, 
That's a bad look, my guy. Like, that is just a misguided way to save face. Shit happens in these early tournaments all the time, man. Look at the Olaf boost or fountain hooking in Dota 2, right? It's shitty, but it's part of esports mythology. So don't try to erase it because it just won't work. The reality is that Virtus Pro were, for all intents and purposes, knocked out of the major because of this. And that's awful. It is. But it's also probably not where this ends. This can and likely will happen again. It happened to G2, like the day before. This is just the hand we've been dealt hosting a major with a brand new Counter-Strike that's still really finicky. And it's shitty, it is, but it's just something we're gonna have to deal with. And much to VP's credit, they took it on the chin. In fact, the only upside of all of this is that VP have amassed more fandom from their super cool reaction to all of this than they would have had they actually won the major. It's not a secret that VP have a little bit of a PR issue, right? Fans think they're boring to watch and sort of detrimental to Counter-Strike. But this reaction has really done a lot to just improve their image in the eyes of fans. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to say about all this. These things can and do happen at majors. Let's just hope it doesn't happen twice. Although I guess that the thing is that it's, now it's even weirder because it's like the hope is that it'll be ironed out by the next major. You know what I mean? The hope is that we're gonna be f done with this shit like after this, right? Yeah. That the game will be in a good enough state where it's not like, right. yeah, it's <laughs> tough, man. Next major altering bug, yeah. which I really hope, which I really hope doesn't happen until the next major.